Hello, hello! Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. My name is Ko Shukuna and welcome to my channel where I share all kinds of things that I learn on my drawing path and hopefully it inspires you on your creative journey as well. And if you're on a creative journey then you might have these moments that you think mm, there's nothing to draw. Well, think again. I'm using a Stillman and Byrne Beta Series sketchbook and the pen I'm using is a Stettler Pigment Liner. It's a chisel tip fine liner which gives me a nice variety of line. And as you can see, I am drawing my hand. Because your hands are always there as your supermodels. And people often say, oh no, hands are so hard to draw. Well, maybe they are. But that is even more reason to draw them. Because then you get the practice and you get to learn to draw them and you get more understanding of the shapes. And what's even more important, you get more confident. Because the more you draw something, the more confident you feel about it. And especially when you think something is very complicated, then the continuous line technique that I am using here can come in really, really handy. Because what you do with the continuous line technique is keep your line going. You have to just figure out where to go from A to B to, well, all the end to Z <laughs> without lifting up your pen. There's just one rule for the continuous line technique and that is once you put your pen down on the paper, you don't lift it up anymore. You create one continuous line, a one-liner. So this is a fantastic game to play if you don't have much time or if you don't know what to draw or if you want to just warm up for drawing, the line that you will get will be very expressive because you keep your line going and also because you need to be creative to find your way around the shape of what you are drawing. You don't have to draw your hands for this, you can choose any subject, but you probably know those moments that you are all ready to draw, you have your sketchbook, you have your favorite pen, and then you're like, but I don't know what to draw. There's nothing to draw. And then I would say, draw your hands. Start with a cuticle, for example, if you're doing the continuous line, but you can really just start anywhere and then figure out how to move your pen from shape to shape, from line to line. You might need to retrace your line once, twice, or even more to get from one place to the other. But there you go. Then you get your expressive line. And before you know it, in just three minutes time, you have drawn three hands. The continuous line drawing or the one-liner is really one of my favorite techniques to loosen up. And many of my drawings actually have parts that are continuous line, just to keep going. So I use this a lot and I really hope that it was helpful for you too. Next week, let's talk about color. We have a line drawing now. It's great as is, but how can we zhuzh it up? We'll do that next week. If you like my Draw Tip Tuesday videos here on YouTube, you will probably like my Patreon page as well. And just so you know, Patrons pay a small amount every month and they actually support me to keep doing what I'm doing here on YouTube. So you just watched a video that one of my Patrons just gave you as a gift. Isn't that nice? Well, if you want to support me as well and get more ideas and more videos like these and other kinds of videos, then definitely check out my Patreon page and maybe you want to join the club there. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel here so that you don't miss next week's video. One more thing, maybe you see it in the background, but I wrote a book. Life is better when you draw it. You know it's true. And that's why I wrote the book. So since the holidays are coming up, you might be looking for a gift to yourself or someone else. And this is pretty much a perfect gift. Just saying. I will put the link below this video and I will see you next week. Bye!